Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is No Time, and I'm here with my fancy new car. Well, it's not new car, it's fancy new paint job. But it's looking really fresh, I'll tell you that for sure. Anyways, I've been told a couple very helpful tips from you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being so involved in my uh, playthrough of this game. Really appreciate it, because sometimes I just miss things that are in front of me. So I've been told to check Mr. Crafty. I don't really know why, but I, it was pretty insistent that I check things here just to see, because apparently there's new recipes that I didn't know about. So, dimension box, knew that. Fission reactor, fusion reactor. We definitely knew about the translation device. I knew about the time slower. Cause that was like something from an update a little while ago. Medkit times speeder. I didn't realize that that was also a thing. Um, anyways, a circuit board, weather core, uranium, override tri chip, unknown destination chip. Huh. Edward Super Potato? Edward Super Potato? Huh? Food? Can I make? How do I? How do I make Edward Super? How do I make Edward Super Potato? Huh. That is probably what I was meant to see. Hmm. Food, strawberry cake, snack cake, pirate cake. I want to do that now, but how do I get Super Potatoes? I don't know. Do I have to go farming? Am I gonna farm for taters? Uh, can I buy some super taters? Hey, hey Tom, you got a super taters in stock? I need some super taters. Uh, I'm very confused. Um, seems like what I should be paying attention to. Can I go talk to Edward and have him give me some uh, super taters? I'd love some, some, uh, shoot, sh some of them shoot, shoot, super taters. <gasps> it happened. Jason! Oh! So remember the last episode, I was told to go and check the bookstore because a special person would be at the counter. It happened! I don't know what was happening before, but it was a regular person at the bookstore. Now it's Jason. Oh! Digby, it happened! Hey man, what do you want? You, you want? do you want to buy a book? No! I just want to say hi, because you're my friend. I know you probably don't remember me, but it's been such a long time. That's awesome. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there were a couple more comments. One of them is to definitely do this quest, which has been in my book for a while now. I've been told that it's very cool, and I would enjoy it very much. But I'm wondering about the super potatoes now. Edward, what's all this business about super potatoes? Can I please have your recipe? Uh, da, da, da. Hmm. How would I go about getting super potatoes, sir? Can I kill you? Seems like I can kill him. What's this gonna do? I'm just gonna keep beating you up. I'm sorry. Where are your super taters? Did you throw them away? Man, I really could... Ooh, ooh, guys, please, calm down. Calm down, calm down. I've also been told that I should be talking to the people with question marks and just taking their quests and have them for later. So, hey, let's talk to uh, this fine gentleman. Hi, any rumors? I heard back in the 70s there was this accordion man who we would not want to meet at nights in the forest. This is it. We're gonna know more about this accordion man. Uh, well, I suppose you can try it at the town archives in the courthouse in Pine Lake. That's the... That's the, the quest that I've wanted to do for this whole time. It's destiny. <gasps> Accordion man. Remember a long time ago I was talking about how there was a side quest that got an update? Hello, post officer that looks exactly like Burned. I was talking about a quest that got an update. It was the Accordion Man quest. <gasps> this is a spooky quest and I kind of want to do it right now, Accordion Man. I should take a hike to the to hike to the town archives in the courthouse in Pine Lake. Maybe I'll find out more about more, but from there, I think I'll have to find clues on my own. I heard rumors of an elusive accordion man from the 70s. Ugh. Okay, okay. Um, in the town archives, reading some books, cold case. Let's see this. 
Uh, case of a detective, Westwood. Hey, my friend. Exposition after scene of shooting was discovered. A suspect, A. Fallon, is being questioned. Mr. Fallon, I found a. I like to ask you. Uh, this does not seem to be what I'm looking for. Um, accordion man. Okay. This is a print from case 241. Time redacted, 1970. Detective Westwood the Second Jr. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I really wasn't trying. I was just kind of getting a bird's eye view while I was. I can't stand still. Uh, they, they, they interviewed Edwin. Edwin? Be Ather. Whoa. Okay. Tell me, Mr. Ather, what happened that night, and why did you feel the need to report it? I live at the border of the old forest. I have been hearing uncanny accordion sounds in proximity to my shack for months now. I, I. That night I took a stroll to the forest, then it happened. What happened? Well, I heard these sounds and then... Stuttering, I can't. He came here to tell me the story. Please continue. He jumped from the corner of my eye. A rush of fear grabbed me and I faded out of shock, I guess. Next morning I woke up back in my bed. So it was just a, 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 a dream? No, others have heard these sounds, but it seems it was just a fever dream. After all, you seemed to be unharmed, and you woke up in your bed. I would aid in consulting someone this dream would repeat. Now, I wish you a good evening. There's another case I got to work on. Ugh. Okay. So, in the 1970s, uh, the borders of the old forest. Okay. Whoops. Well, that seems like what I should be paying attention to. Oh. 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 Maybe I should travel to the 70s. <laughs> Ow. This seems like it might be kind of creepy. I knew that this quest was a creepy kind of quest, which is why I've been so intrigued with it for so long. Uh, I guess this is the start of it. <gasps> I'm so curious. I have to do this one. I'm sorry. I know I know you guys had your comments and stuff telling me about what to do, and I really want to get to the Viking Saga, but also I was told to get a whole bunch of random side quests, and I did, and I found this. So I'm kind of, you know, it's like, kind of, you know, it feels, it feels just like it meant to be, you know? So, you know what? We're going to go to 05, 15, uh, 1997. That's not right. 0515-1970 is, well, I typed it wrong. 0515-1970. Okay. Uh, twelve o'clock. Just in the daytime. Not at night. Not yet. Um, yeah, let's, let's do this. I'm gonna save here real quick. Save. Confirm. And uh, then we're gonna go. We are gonna. Hmm. Why? Why? What? What? Why? I can't turn it on. Why? There's no reactor. Who stole my reactor? I thought this was an upstanding town. Is this my reactor here on the floor? Did that get taken out too? My fusion reactor. How could you? How could you take my fusion reactor? You thief. You monster. Well, I'm glad I figured that out. Problem solved. I guess it makes sense that they would take my fusion reactor out. I guess I just didn't think about it. Okay, it's fine. Um, now we can go. Yeah, let's go. Hey, here we are. 1970s. Okay. So, he lives on the border of the old forest, in a shack. Kind of curious, don't you think? Let's just land on over here, plop her down. Here we go. Uh, take a look at the map, maybe. Just to stop the car, please. Here we go. And world map, border of the old forest. Old Edwin's shack. That's pretty easy. It's just to the south of me. This looks like the place. Okay. Let's let's just talk to the locals here. Looks like another ancestor of Edwards over here. Whoa. That's kind of ominous. Okay. Hi. Edwin B. Ather. 
Oh, hello there, paranoid. Huh? And who are you? Uh, just visiting the countryside. Uh, stuttering? What? Well, I advise you not to visit anything here. This place shouldn't be for casual walks. That's just currently... Now, since the strange occurrences happened... What occurrences? Well... Lowers his voice. Strange sightings. A kid went missing. Oh! Psh! Lowers his voice. I advise you to be on your guard after sundown. I will get to the bottom of this. R really? Haven't you heard what people are talking about? Around here? So where do the strange encounters happen? They're here in the forest. Just don't, please. So after sundown, in the old forest? Well, thank you for your courage. You need to find that missing kid, but really, be on your guard for who or what is out there. Oh, one more thing. Yeah? Here, take this. Save me last time I was... Uh, just sign it and take a lamp. Okay. I have no idea what this is about. I don't think I need that. Um, forgive me if I want to take a look in here during the day. Um, <laughs> I can't. You can't stop the crouch jump king, though. So it appears I can get in. Uh, uh, oh no. Okay. Quitting man. A kid went missing. Maybe I can help. He also told me to search the clues in the old forest nearby. He warned me that he saw late at night. Anything in here? Hello? Anybody? Hello? Anybody out here late at night? Anybody? Well, it's not late at night. So, of course, there isn't anyone out here late at night. Um, hmm. What's this? Oh, these are the old... Oh, these are the old native ruins. Interesting, interesting. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything spooky going on here. Maybe in the cave? I'm just doing a scouting mission, guys. If, uh, if, uh, I find nothing, I'll come back at night. What is this? I don't think that was there before, but maybe it was. I don't know. I can't remember. This is where the chief lived, right? And Edward up on this... Hill lived over here. Hmm. Hmm. Can I enter this now? I heard an eagle. Is this enterable? No, it is not. Interesting. Interesting. Well. Uh. I guess I should come back at night? I'm gonna be honest, guys. This is kind of spooking me. I didn't, I didn't expect this to get so, so creepy. I'm also realizing I don't even have my gun. I think this is a foolish decision to just go rushing off to this. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump over to the 1950s. We're gonna buy gun parts. And then we're not 1950s, 1750s. Uh, excuse me, sir. I would like to buy some pieces. Can I buy something? Revolver parts. Good thing I have some money for it. Kind of forgot about that. Revolver parts move so slowly for some reason, except for sideways, I can absolutely fly. Okay, and take this, Mr. Crafty. What did I need for EPA? Just magnetometer and that. Okay, could you guys stop talking? I am trying to concentrate. I have my EPA. Very nice. EPA Mark II needs two magnetometers and a gold bar. I don't have two magnetometers anymore, do I? Nope, I only have one. Okay, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Um, we're going to be just fine. We're all set. Um, things are... I kind of regret my decision of, uh, putting the storage in the front. <laughs> I think it's a lot worse. I might revert that sometime. Um, anyways, I've got my EPA. At least I can be defended against whatever is going on here. I guess it's time to go back to 1970s. Okay. Not gonna lie, guys. I'm a little bit, a little bit nervous. All right, here we go. Going back at night time. And away. 
Okay. There's a shack. Let's go see if we hear anything, maybe. Da -da -da. Nice and slow now. Easy does it. See if he says anything different at night. Um, hey, it looks like some stuff got left behind. <laughs> Wait, what's this? What's this nonsense? I've got another Mr. Crafty and a gold bar. I'll never say no to another gold bar. Yes, 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 yes. Let's just put that there. And uh, Mr. Crafty, you can, you can just chill. You can just hang out. Hi. Uh, he says nothing new. Um, I think for safety's sake, I'm gonna use my jet board. Do I hear anything? New PLC entry. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I want to read this. I want to read this. I want to read this. And... The heck? Ho hold on. Where am I? Nope, wrong one. This place is awfully quiet. I see sleep. I don't like this. I don't like this. I will use this if I have to. Who are you? Is that a cat? It's a fox. A sleeping little fox. What was that sound I heard? Was that in my imagination? That wasn't in my imagination. Um. Why, hello there! Um. Well, don't mind me. Whatever that was, I need a break for a second. No, you don't. Don't you leave me. Don't you leave me there, Mr. Narrator Man. Not sure about this. My lover board is under the table. I'm just gonna keep on flying. I ain't walking. Nah. Oh, hello. Um, my friend. Hi. How you doing? Let me get a good look at you. Oh, he running away again. He went into the ground. He's out of the ground. Um, okay. Uh, there I saw something or someone. Where did he run? Somewhere in the direction of the ruins. I think I need to follow. There are ruins marked right ahead on the map. I should take a look there. Is it open now? Please don't be open now. Please don't be open now. Please don't be open now. Please, they're open now. Guys, I, I really don't want to go. I really, really don't want to. Give me that. No. I really don't want to. I really don't want to go in there. I really don't want to go in there. We're going in there. Okay. Uh, we're fine. I'm going to stay on my stay on my board for a little bit. Hey, let's just fly around and uh, pull out the gun. <laughs> uh, stone tablet. Uh, Sid Ray. Uh, I don't know what this says. Uh, I don't know what this says. We're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna fly. We're gonna fly. Um, oh, is this another puzzle? So we've got a, a snake monster looking thing. Um, the dragon is not a bug. He's a serpent. Um, would be a liar. Seems fair, but is foul. That's it. Yeah. That was it. Why do I hear laugh? No, please. No, please. No, please. No, please. No, please. No, please. Um, I guess we're going this way. Down we go. Down we go. Down. We go. Forgive me for being a coward here, guys, but I am. I am a coward. We're just going on a trip down this dark, deep tunnel. Um, I can wall clip through here. Um, I can see there's a path over there. <laughs> this seems like cheating. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep doing it though. Nope, no two ways about it. This seems like a dead end. Yes. Okay, we're going this way then. We're going this way. We're going this way. If I get stuck on the outside of this place, I'm probably going to be in trouble, so. Um. Okay, and it goes up around. It loops around. 
Da, 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 a little shoot? I'm not going in there. No, 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 no. Um, let's just continue on this path. I see brightness. I see brightness. Um, what is this brightness? I don't know. Any way that way? There is a way that way. This is a maze. Where am I going? Oh, that's just a... Okay, there's a little drop-off path. Um... What is that? Is that where I came in? I don't know. It's so confusing here. I see waterfall? Waterfall over there? Does that go anywhere? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I guess we're going back down. I think I took a wrong turn. I apologize for the horrible noise of this contraption, but if you ask me if I will stop it, I will answer you with a great big no. I am honestly a little spooked here right now. I don't play horror games. I know this isn't a horror game, but I, I feel like the devs might be a little cheeky here. Hello? Strange noises in the deep? I do not appreciate that. Uh, da, da, am I going am I going in circles here, guys? I kinda get the feeling that I am. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh! I think I made it to a new place. It's an it's an inkling. Oh, did I get it? I did. Okay. I'm flying. Oh, it's a dark maze. I'm cheating. I'm so cheating. Say what? The accordion man has a health bar. Am I fighting the accordion man? Who are you? Who are you? The sound is coming from over there. Who are you? Oh, that's the lost kid. Accordion man. Ah! Hello. Ah. Um. I need to sing that. Oh. Do I? Okay, hold on. Hey, accordion man, you just stay right there for just a second. I need to sing. Um. Ha! Huh, I am. I'm saying the things. I have no idea what this means. I hope it's a. Uh, uh, he's losing health. Ghastly whale. Oh. Ow! Is that it? Did I beat him? I think I beat him. Hey! Sorry. I want out. I agree. Let's get out of here, kid. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. We're going. That was the creepiest thing ever. Was that literally a demon? Ugh. Hi. Who? What was that? I don't know who or what that was. I think I know what it was. I think I actually know this place. Please come with me. I don't want to go alone. I don't want to go alone either. I'll stick with you, kid. I'm with you, buddy boy. That was creepy. That was so creepy. I have literally no understanding of what that was except for the fact that I think it was probably a straight up a demon. Uh, uh, uh. Arc ore. That seems like it could be kind of handy. I'm sorry, kid. I'm getting distracted. I should rec re remember that for later. Holy cow. That was that was cre creepy. I didn't expect it to be real. I thought it was going to be like some, you know, folklore thing. But it was actually real. I'm really glad I was able to save this kid. Are we safe now? Are we back home? Did we make it? Is that his family? Oh, I want to reunite him with his parents. Oh, no. They must be so worried about him. That must be them. Hey, your kid is home. And there's Westwood. <gasps> Tom. Oh, it's the librarian, Mrs. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you're always welcome here. Come home to us, please. Sure. Hey, there's Westwood. Uh. The kid's waiting for me. I want to talk to Westwood. Hey, 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 you can't just walk away from me. I deserve compensation for this. I solved one of your cold cases. Hey, hey. Detective Westwood Second Jr. Everything safe, pal? Hey. It is now, now that I'm around. Uh, hey, you're lucky to have a kind citizen like me. I'm just going to crouch jump over the fence real quick. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Okay, kid, I'm coming. Hey, Tom. Hey. Um, Mr. Nice. Cheerful. 
You are always welcome. Thank you. Hi, kid. How are you? Cheerful? Hello, best friend. Aw, oh, I'm his best friend because I saved him. Uh, she's got a quest. Uh, hey, would you like a freshly baked cookie? <gasps> a cookie? Places it on the counter. Here, enjoy. Thank you so much. I would love a cookie. Chocolate, chocolate cookie. Yum, yum, yum. I am actually hungry. That was so nice of you, Mrs. Nice. No pun intended. Uh, let's just... I'm always welcome at Tom's house. That's such a great ending. Oh. The accordion man mystery may not be solved, but the kid found its way back to his parents. Yeah, I guess it's not solved. Hey, Bert, get out of here. You're not welcome. I'm welcome. You're not welcome. Dude, that was kind of creepy, but also really awesome. That was really fun, I will say. Probably going to end this episode here. Um, and sorry, I didn't really get to what you guys were saying in the comments. Like, I know uh, side quests is what I'm supposed to do. I really want to do the Viking Saga one. I'll do that next time. Uh, but until then... I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of No Time. If you did, leave a like. And if you haven't already and you would like to, you can subscribe to see more No Time and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.